What's up YouTube? Morning uh, ladies and gents. Today BSG released patch notes for patch uh, 0.12.12.30. What's a long name, huh? Right now, the patch has been installed, the game has been down, and I'm quickly gonna go through patch notes, uh, maybe discuss them a bit, and the main point of this video is simply sharing the patch notes with you so you don't have to read them, maybe you can play this video as some background noise while you're doing your tasks. Anyway, let's start. First of all, there will be a wipe with a patch. As I said yesterday, not everybody listened to me, but here we are. New additions. Expanded the lighthouse location, added the ability to visit the island where the lighthouse is located and also the new interiors inside the water treatment plant facility complex. Nikita did mention that on Tarkov TV podcast, nothing new. However, there is no mention of the However, there is no mention of Lightkeeper, and it also says that they added three bosses, the commanders of X USAC PMC group known as Rogues. Uh, first of all, we're also not getting the fourth boss, the one which guards Lightkeeper. So at the start of the wipe, the lighthouse will be available for everyone. You can cross the bridge without being sniped. However, there is no cheddar. You will not be able to trade with him. Later on, this wipe will get some quests, which will help us to unlock him. The leader of the gang is Knight, who coordinates the actions of the entire group and specializes in assault operations. Birdeye maintains distance between him and the enemy, setting up ambushes and choosing positions with a clear line of sight to the area. Big Pie prefers the grenade launcher and serves the role of massive firepower in the battle and always rushes towards the enemy to reach combat distance. Alright. Bosses maintain contact with each other and other rogues, however they don't stick together and instant, instead keep their position, positioning distances. When an enemy is detected by any of the bosses or rogues, information is transmitted to everyone by the radio, and bosses prepare for the battle. Bosses do help each other, use all available weapons, and are hostile to everyone. Players of any faction, scabs and raiders. So I really wonder why it said raiders. Because judging from the maps for the spawn on Lighthouse, Shoreline, Woods and Customs, there are no raiders there, so they're not gonna be killing raiders, right? Or am I missing something? Oh, it also says they do not stay in the same place and they wonder about these locations all the time. So we won't be able to farm these bosses. It's more gonna be of a uh, random thing. We're gonna be randomly be meeting them on different maps. Added offline cooperative game mode. Right now you will be able to play offline with your friends without any progression. Uh, and it's available only for EOD users. So if you don't have an EOD, unlucky. Better luck next time. Rework the movement animations. Updated the animations for character movement, jumps and stances, added new breathing animations, melee attack animations, weapon drawing, holstering. That's kinda cool, I would love to see them. All Battlestead games animations in the game are top notch, always loved them, excited to see that. Added sprint animation to change depending on the weapon type, rifle, pistol, melee, grenade and its length. Alright. Added rotations and tilts of the body when moving and sprinting, the lower the speed position of the players, the lower the tilt of the body during turns and vice versa. Implemented weapon operations during the sprint, in particular the ability to switch to another weapon, switch fire modes, check the mag, folding unfolding, inspection and reloading. Fixed third person weapon twisting while prone when lying on the side. Added daily task for player scavs. Mm -hmm. Added new type of daily tasks. Searching for items from a category such as food, medicine, weapons, etc. All items will need to be found in raid. Ooh, all items will need to be found in one raid. So you can't stack them, you have to find all of them within one raid. That's interesting. Added slots for special items in the PNC inventory in which you can put compass, branch fighter, a Wi-Fi camera, a marker and other special items. Items and special slots are not lost upon the death. They also cannot be looted from the bodies. Added the flare gun and a single shot reactive flare rounds with lightning and flare ammo. Shooting red signal flares will call in a plane with an airdrop to fly to the nearest possible location. Updated the airdrop mechanics. Added four type of containers with unique content, weapons, medicine, supplies, general purpose. Added countermeasure flares when flying in and dropping the container. That's basically when the plane flies in. It's also gonna get some flares behind it. That's gonna, that's, gonna, that's gonna be pretty cool. Updated the plane flying trajectories and decreased the engine sound volume. Damn. Right now we will actually be able to hear what's going on in the game when the plane flies. Added tasks for the new lighthouse territories. Alright, so we're getting more new tasks on lighthouse. Good. Updated the base clothing models for USIX and bear PMCs. 
added new head models for Yusek and Bears, added new weapons and customization for them. Benelli M3 Super 90 Shotgun, Accuracy International AXMC Sniper Rifle, MP18 Single Shot Rifle, RD704 Assault Rifle, SAG AK Rifle, HKG36 Rifle, and Revolver Grenade Launcher. I think those are not all the guns which are added with the patch. I still have a feeling there might be AUG in the game as well as a revolver which is using the same caliber as um, H12. I'm not sure why they haven't added it to the patch notes, maybe they would love to keep it as a surprise. But I am, I'm really hoping and I'm pretty sure that it should be in the game now. Reworked animations for MP133 and MP9. Added a new model, animation and modifications for SV98. Added new equipment and new items. Change the bonuses for perception skill. Now the hearing radius increases by blah 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 blah. Basically, whenever you max out perception, the hearing distance, the additional hearing distance is lowered from 35% to 15%. Perception was a pretty big issue, because when I was playing as a scav and as a PMC, it felt really different. I'm not sure if that's a good thing, lowering up to 15%. I honestly wish that maybe it would have stayed at 35 and they just would have increased the leveling speed for perception but let's let's see how it feels let's see how it feels change the inertia speeds and force when leaning so i guess right now you won't be able to do the fast lean peaks maybe they're going to be slowed down a bit added new outfits for both pmc factions added new crafting recipes in the hideout reworked the elite metabolism skill effect now with zero hydration and energy you will not receive any thirst and hunger damage but still receive other negative effects before this change there were no negative effects at all Rework the elite strength skill effect. Now, weapons equipped on sling and back and in the holster become weightless. All that equipment and item weight in chest rigs, backpacks, pouches and secured containers is counted normally. Before this change, all equipment and weapons were weightless. Graphical improvements. AMD, Fidelity, Super Resolution, FSR, added to the game, RIT. Temporarily disabled the ability to enable MIP streaming in the graphic settings. We're currently reworking this function and will really enable it in the nearest update. So MIP streaming is supposed, as far as I know, MIP streaming is supposed to add um, more distances at which the rendering of the object changes. Like, you know when you see trees in a really, really far distance, they're super blurry. And when you come close to them, they become super sharp and like high quality. Right now, I think there is two, maybe three different distances in the game at which objects render differently. Uh, MAP streaming is supposed to add more of those distances, as far as I know, and uh, it never worked properly in the game, so they are reworking it. Um, updated NVIDIA, next, next point. <laughs> updated NVIDIA Reflex version. Reworked laser sights for all tactical devices with IR models enabled. The lasers and flashlights will not be visible since they are designed for use with NVGs. Also, the intensity and brightness of standard non-IR lasers has been increased. All right, that's interesting. I wonder if... if uh, so, BG also reworked NVGs. I wonder if they're gonna make the nighttime even darker since they increased the brightness and intensity of the flashlights and they did rework NVGs. Let's see how it works out. Sounds. Added new voices for Baron and Yusek. I think each of the factions is getting two new uh, voices. Baron and Yusek. Bears are getting broken English voice lines, that's exactly the reason why I'm going for Bear this wipe, I'm super excited to hear that. Um, yeah, should be fun. Added new sounds of movement on top of various surfaces types. So I think right now when you're running on metal or wood, it doesn't matter how thin or thick the metal or the wood is, the sound is the same. After the patch, different... different... Uh, types of surfaces, for example, thin metal sheets or very very thick ones they're gonna make different sounds now added sounds for weapons dropping on various surfaces so right now when you drop the weapon off your body and it lands on the floor it's gonna make some sounds added sounds of the bodies collapsing after death and sounds of transition to prone okay and there's also a, a list of fixes i don't think i'm gonna go through it you can read it yourself i'll leave the link for the patch notes down below this is more or less it i hope you enjoyed this video i tried to keep it short Share the patience with you. I'm super excited to start this wipe. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you watched till this moment, I think there's probably 30% of you left now. Please don't hesitate to click that like button and share your thoughts down in the comments below. That will help me a lot with YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you in the next one.